Hi, this is Julia and the Space Daily News Channel. European space agencies envision mission to Venus will perform optical spectral and radar mapping of Earth's sister planet. But before getting down to walk, the spacecraft needs to aerobrake, lowering its orbit with thousands of passages through the planet's hot, thick atmosphere for up to two years. The spacecraft will be injected into Venus orbit at a very high altitude, at approximately 250,000 km. Then it needs to get down to a 500 km altitude orbit for science operations. By launching on Ariane 62 rocket, the spacecraft cannot afford all the extra fuel that would be needed to lower the orbit. Instead, it will be slowed down by repeated passes through Venus' upper atmosphere. Envision's predecessor spacecraft Venus Express performed experimental aerobraking during the final months of its mission in 2014, gathering valuable data on the technique. Aerobraking also was used in 2017 by European Space Agency ExoMars Trace Gas Orbiter to lower its orbit the red planet over an 11 month period. But aerobraking around Venus is going to be much more challenging than around Mars. The gravity of Venus is higher than on Mars, which means there will be a higher speed of passing through the atmosphere and a higher heating on the vehicle. Therefore, an aerobraking phase must be longer. Also, the spacecraft will pass through thick white clouds of Venus' atmosphere, which reflects a lot of sunlight back to space. That also needs to be taken in account. Then, on top of all that, spectral observations of the planet by previous Venusian orbiters have shown that highly active atomic oxygen is widespread in the upper part of the planet. Its concentration is quite high. With one pass it doesn't matter so much, but over thousands of passes the effect of atomic oxygen on the spacecraft would be significant. The Envision team used a unique European facility specifically built by European Space Agency to simulate atomic oxygen in orbit. A range of materials and coatings from different parts of the Envision spacecraft, including multi-layer insulation, antenna parts and Star Trek elements, are placed into the chamber, where they are exposed to atomic oxygen and simultaneously heated to 350 degrees. Scientists want to check that these parts are resistant to being eroded and also maintain their optical properties. The results of this test are expected at the end of this year. The selection of materials is part of extensive European Space Agency research to prepare the vehicle for aerodynamic braking. The Envision spacecraft is expected to be launched to Venus on an Ariane 62 rocket in 2031. This was Space Daily News. Subscribe to the channel.